Good morning gardeners. This is going to be our first video in a small series on how to build a food forest. Since we're expanding the backyard, I thought it'd be a good idea to film some of it to take you guys along with us and show you how we're expanding the backyard garden. So come along with us. Whenever you're going to build a garden, you need to first make sure you know what your goals are. Before last year, the goal for our garden was to have a tropical oasis with rare and exotic plants, just flowering plants that were in the shade. We visited botanical gardens all over Florida to see what grows here and try to build our collection. We went to the University of South Florida, they had a garden show and we joined USF's um, garden club. And with that, you can join the American Horticultural Society they have a reciprocal program, so if you're a member of one garden, you can go to all the other gardens in the state of Florida for free. Some of them have like a 90 mile extension limit, but look into that. We also went to different garden shows in Central Florida. You can check some of these out. USF has a fall garden show and a spring garden show. Also garden shows over at Bach Tower. There's a Green Thumb garden show. And then there's also Tampa Bay Green Fest. So check those out if you're interested in growing any plant because they also have edibles. So last year we expanded our garden into a food forest. We learned about permaculture. We put in some fruit trees and the raised beds. We also jumped so fast into this we didn't do quite as much research as we should so we made a few mistakes. We didn't quite understand chill hours and how much that we got here. So on a vacation about two hours north we picked up some the plums that are on that side, some the pears are over there and some apples, so we're gonna still watch them, but those probably were not the best options. So we just put in as much food plants as we could. In the raised beds, we grew tomatoes. We learned that a lot of the stuff that you would think grows here really doesn't. So we'll talk more about plants in the next episode. So as we enter our second year, we're changing our goals up just a little bit, and we're gonna step away from more of those raised beds, the traditional home garden look, and going more for a true food forest. So with that, we're buying plants that will give us fruit on the before and the after end, so earlier in the harvest as well as late. And we're also going to add more um, plants to actually grow here. So this is roselle. Uh, there's also edible leaf hibiscus. There's other plants that can give you food all year round. We're also gonna look into other plants like canistel and sapotes just to give us more variety. Um, so what we learned this year to help us make this change is we've been following David the Good on YouTube as well as Fruitful Trees to get a whole bunch of knowledge about mango trees and different tropical fruits that grow in Central and South Florida. Now that you know what your goals are for your garden, the next step would be to prepare the space. So you want to make sure that you have a fence around the pro property and make sure that no one comes in. You don't want any unwelcomed visitors. You want to make sure that you um, clear out all of your trees. Nothing is worse than planting a garden than realizing you've got a bunch of trees to cut down that can hurt your garden. Um, and then cover the ground with wood chips. So you see we've got wood chips already in the front yard. We're going to add some next to the backyard. So check out the next step for us. After planting a bunch of fruit trees back here and expanding these islands, we decided we're just going to take this oak tree out. So today they're coming to cut it. So we had to remove a jackfruit here and a satsuma over there and we just planted mulberry trees here and where pepper's at there was a guava, so we need to protect our mango, and then we'll have more sun for these trees later. So the tree is cut and the cleanup begins. 
We're gonna come and get that ground. This orange may not make it. Big tree landed on it down there and knocked it back. We'll see. We ripped up the bromeliads. Girls are not happy. Beautiful Florida sunrise. In this back corner is Dutchman Pipe Vine. This is a host plant. Two different butterflies. We don't see any of the caterpillars yet. And we're gonna have to cut it down. On this vine clump is also passion vine. Just taking it over. This is a yellow passion vine. So all of this will come down today. And those fence panels are gonna drop, so we have to fix that. So here we have it. We pulled up so much of this honeysuckle. It's like invasive. Lots of of the um, Dutchman. Now we have to replace these fence panels tomorrow. And then of course we saved the caterpillars that we found. So every time we would pull some up, we would just search. on the bottom of the post it's black so we sprayed the bottom of each of these with flex seal and it seems to protect the post more we had to replace posts in the front yard before and then when we replaced them we sprayed them with this and it's doing much better just a little tip Now that the stump is gone, the fun begins. That's it for the first video in the series of planting a food forest. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay with us for the next episode where we explore planting and plant selections. See you in the next one.